Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi, WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's joining us through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, I think you all would all agree that as the world changes around us, innovative approaches to professional growth for businesses and development are definitely important. Here to share some details on how workplace learning is being redefined because of the past couple of years, as well as how businesses are able to be able to look at the way they're able to drive retention, to enhance productivity, but also prepare their people for jobs of the future. We're excited to welcome John Jordan to our program. John is the head of the Academy at Bank of America. John, really appreciate the time today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be on with you this morning. Thank you, Cyrus. Well, John, I want to talk about this. This is something that all of us have been dealing with, especially over the past the past couple of years here. But what has changed about the way that people work and learn? Well, a lot has changed, but despite all of this unprecedented change uh, around how we work, one thing has remained the same. That is that employees want to grow and develop in their careers. And what I would say, the two things that I've noticed so much that have changed a lot have been the need for all things virtual and for employees to be flexible. And what I mean by virtual is people have had to learn from home. They've had to do their jobs from home. Uh, they've had to work perhaps in hours that they hadn't worked before. They've had to work on projects that they may not have had to work before. So our approach to learning, our approach to communication, the way that we do our jobs has really become very virtual. And when I say flexible, I mean they've had to be very flexible because their job may change day to day based on the changing environment around them, based on the things that are happening in our economy and at home. Um, it's really been in many ways, an exciting time to be in the learning space uh, at a time when we had to, to train and reskill thousands and thousands of employees across the economy. Right. Well, it's hard to believe we're halfway through the month of December, John, so 2022 will be here before you know it. As we're heading into a new year, what learning and development trends do you expect to see more of next year? Well, related to that theme of being all things virtual, technology will continue to play a huge role in the future of work and in workforce training. And I expect you'll see more and more organizations leveraging it in the year ahead. As a parent, I know I can relate to the fact that technology has taken over in the home. I mean, you've got kids talking to Siri or Alexa or you know, having a virtual Zoom call for their class. Uh, they're on social media. Uh, video games, it's all happening at once in my house with four kids. Um, but that's where people are moving. They're, they're moving to a more digitally engaged learning uh, and in, an engaging way to learn. And specifically, we've seen some really innovative ways to teach tangible skills like emotional intelligence and adaptability, resilience, and critical thinking as technology continues to improve and we see more advancements in things like augmented reality and virtual reality and even artificial intelligence. In October, we became the first big financial services company to launch virtual reality training across all of our financial centers nationwide, and we found it to be incredibly effective. And this immersive learning technologies, our technology gives our teammates the capability to practice and, and try skills that maybe they wouldn't have been able to do through a more traditional way of learning. Uh, I think that this industry leading technology is going to help teammates really develop some some hard some some hard and soft skills and meet the diverse needs of our clients to grow their careers. It's it's an exciting time. I'll tell you, I've tried it myself. The virtual reality it's it is amazing how memorable it is and how much it can impact how fast you learn. John, you bring up a really good point about developing new skills. I want to ask you about that as it pertains to our, our audience here on the radio side. How can our listeners further their careers and develop new skills as they're trying to find a way into, you know, the new waters we find ourselves in when it comes to the workplace. First and foremost, I think it's so important to find a career with a company that's a great place to work. I would start there. Look for a company that's going to invest in opportunities for growth and personal development uh, and making sure that the company is fair and equitable and diverse, all the things that make it a place that you want to be. Um, I think most importantly that it aligns to your purpose, things that you want to do and, and the way that you want to impact the world. 
once you've really found that company, that right company for you, whether it be big or small or it's your own company, make sure that you're looking for per professional development opportunities yourself. You've got to show initiative. You've got to take the time to learn. Uh, if I speak to um, if I speak to employees within our team, the ones that are most successful, the ones that adapt most quickly, and the ones who have the the fastest progression in their careers are the ones who really are seeking it out. They're listening to podcasts, they're reading books, they're seeking new ways to learn every day, look for mentors, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when looking at some of the most valuable skills for the future, I really see three areas that I would focus on for your listeners. One is empathy. Learn about other people. I mean, empathy is so important in the future of work just because we are such a diverse society, because you are going to be working in teams and have clients that come from all different backgrounds, really focusing on being an empathetic person, listening, learning from others is going to be so important. And I mentioned before adaptability or learning agility, the ability to, to take the situation you're in and quickly change. Uh, the world's changing so quickly, it's hard to know exactly where to focus your skills development. But if you're adaptable, uh, if you're agile, and you're watching how things are moving, then, then you can really move quickly. There's a lot of learning that you can do on the fly, th lessons and classes that you can take that can teach you new skills very quickly uh, in this world. If a, YouTube video is can if a YouTube video can teach me how to fix my car, then, then almost anything is possible. I mean, almost anything is possible. So, uh, you know, I would just recommend that your, your listeners really be focused on those things, working for a great company and looking for ways that they can really learn themselves. So the last thing I want to mention, it kind of dovetails with what you just mentioned, because it seems like with all of the now hiring signs I'm seeing, employees really, it seems like, have more leverage now than they have you know, in, in other times. With that being said, then, when it comes to businesses, then, uh, what do they need to think about when it comes to what they're offering to attract and to keep uh, employees for coming on board? That's an important question. Employee engagement, retention, and development boils down, from my perspective, into three questions that every employee is going to ask. One, are they proud to work here? Two, are they cared for? And three, are they successful or can they be successful at this company no matter where they come from or what their background is? Every company should be focused on answering those questions. Am I proud to work here? What are you doing in your communities, what are you doing in terms of the products and solutions that you're offering your clients to make your employees proud to be a part of that organization? We spend a lot of time focused on that here, making sure that we're communicating and aligning our, our vision and our priorities to things that make an impact on the world around us. And we feel like we do a lot to make our employees proud to work here. The question of are you cared for at this company has never been more important with the benefits that you offer, the pay that you offer, the investments you make in learning and development, making sure people feel like that they're not just you know, joining a company for a job, but they're joining it for a career. That, one, that question has been uh, asked and answered millions of times across the country as, as you look at some of the trends in employment right now. And, and are you cared for is one of them, I think, during a pandemic has, has really, really been an important one. And then lastly, can I be successful? I, I, that one really comes down to where I focus my everyday attention, which is you know, making sure that we're bringing the best skills uh, and training, uh, educational resources, making sure that everyone feels like they're equipped to do their job well, that they have mentors and coaches, uh, that they can practice uh, the things that they need to do in order to be successful at their job. With the, if you really focus on those three questions and really have it permeate your organization, your management team, uh, as an organization, I think you can really attract and, and create uh, an incredible place to work for employees. Love that. Great information for sure. Again, everyone, John Jordan has been our guest, the head of the Academy at Bank of America, sharing with you guys how both employers and employees can make the most of the new normal that we find ourselves in. John, really appreciate the time. How can our audience get more information? Well, you can always go visit uh, bankofamerica.com. Um, there's a lot of information there about careers here, about the Academy, about what we do in the communities. Uh, would love to link in uh, or have folks follow me at Johnny T. Jordan on Twitter uh, and uh, look forward to 
hearing more from your listeners in the future. All right, John. Thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate you dropping by today. Thank you. Take care. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.